The preliminary hearing for the alleged wrong way driver Jessica Sheckel finally took place at the Northwest Justice Center in Fullerton, nearly eight months after the accident occurred on the Anaheim Freeway. Eight witnesses were summoned by District Attorney Susan Price to testify and present evidence regarding the morning of October 26, 2009. Witnesses included the toxicologist who testified to analyzing Shekel's blood sample. And what was the result that you obtained? The result I obtained was a .263. And several officers from the California Highway Patrol. Investigating officer in the case Vic Taylor testified to interviewing a man who claimed to have socialized with Shekel at two different bars before parting ways with her the night of the accident. Life has not been easy for the 22-year-old former Cal State Fullerton student. Defense attorney Rudolph Lowenstein said Shekel has received several death threats since the night she allegedly drove west in the fast track lane of the 91 eastbound freeway while intoxicated. There's a truck that's going the opposite way on the fast track, and we just okay. avoided a head-on collision. The vehicle Shekel allegedly drove collided into a truck carrying four members of the Miguel family, killing the two front passengers and sending the young rear passengers, Sarah and Mary Miguel, to different hospitals. Shekel is charged with 12 felony counts. Based off the evidence presented during the preliminary hearing, an arraignment date is set for June 30, 2010. Ms. Shekel is expected to be present at that time. A staff member from Mothers Against Drunk Driving, who is closely associated with the Miguel family, has told us both Sarah and Mary are doing just fine. From Fullerton, California, Derek Opina, reporting for the Daily Titan.